Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to the channel, guys. Let's get into the energies that could be coming in towards you. Should you be waiting on an ex or would the universe prefer that you just keep it moving towards your next? Use your intuition, guys. It may or may not resonate. Okay? If this one does, like, share, and subscribe. All right, Taurus, let's see who is coming in. this energy Taurus wow this is a really beautiful vibration that seems to be attached to whoever this person is um, not only has one of my favorite cards come out in the form of the six of cups but I also pick up very strongly here that this person's coming in with a very clear intention and is also very clear about the type of offer they are wanting to communicate to you what i feel like might be a little bit surprising to you though taurus is that it's very clear in the six of cups that this energy um these sweet vibrations that seem to be coming in um are attached to someone from your past um the six of cups is not only a card of nostalgia it's a card of very sweet memories so that could be the indication that i'm picking up on here um that this is not only someone from your past um this is not only just an ex but i also get the sense here that this isn't a recent ex for some reason i feel like in that six of swords in the separation in the distance this is someone who's had to kind of go on their own journey and kind of come to their own growth and maturity as an individual especially when it comes to what it is that they're looking for from love and relationships and for some reason Taurus I'm not sure if it's the impression that you've left behind or once again those sweet memories that I keep picking up on but when this person thinks back on one of their happier or more imbalanced connections I feel like this person gets flooded with memories of you I also get this energy for some reason in the six of cups that this is someone who is acknowledging that at the time that the two of you were together uh, they they were a little bit immature or they possibly took you for granted or this is someone possibly who just wasn't ready for commitment right but i know when you're going through it taurus it's really hard to comprehend um that a break that a breakup is necessary but that's kind of the energy that i'm feeling here it's almost like when you were dealing with this person they just were not capable of giving you the type of commitment that you were looking for this person literally had to go through something as an individual come to some point of maturity before they could come back in towards you and give you something a little bit more solid something a little bit more reliable and with this ace of pentacles i'm just feeling something very genuine in this person's energy um i don't know i really like this person's vibration i'm not too sure what it is but i've been doing these x or next uh readings for all the other signs and i have to say there's something about this particular x here taurus that i'm really liking their vibration this is someone who's not coming in towards you due to some sort of um codependency or guilt or anything like that this person's truly coming in towards you because they've been contemplating uh what it is that they're looking for in the next phase of their life and i feel like when it comes to commitment relationships someone that they want as a loyal partner once again their thoughts come towards you this is someone who has sat back in their own energy and truly thought about what it is that they're going to say to you i feel like with the eight of wands they've literally mapped out each word or maybe it's just this energy of how often they keep thinking about what it is they could say to you to prove to you how serious that they are or to prove to you that that immature energy or that perspective that you have of them is truly something from the past and that the energy that they're coming in towards you with now it's almost like a complete is a 360 no that, that would mean they've gone right back to the start right now it's a 180 uh this person's a completely different vibration and i do feel like this is someone who is going to surprise you not just with what they have to say to you but i also think how much they have grown 
is going to surprise you and just how much they are going to prove to you that you can trust them with this pentacle wow so i do want to get some clarifications here but once again just from the outside looking in um i don't think that this is a recent ex once again there's been a journey here there's been some growth there's also possibly been a lot of disappointment for this person but through that disappointment they've come to some sort of maturity right through that disappointment they've come to recognize the power of this connection and that is why they are coming through so strongly with such a genuine beautiful open vibration this is someone who is not doing this spontaneously they've been thinking long and hard about this reconciliation and not just the reconciliation i feel like this is someone who's been thinking long and hard about the potential of where this connection can go um, as much as i love the six of cups um, i have to also mention it's one of those cards of soulmates so it's like maybe this person has recognized something within you due to the separation something about the separation was necessary here guys um i just feel like you were dealing with someone who was extremely immature or just not ready before but how ready they come towards you is gonna shock you okay or something about them is gonna shock you maybe this person started a business and it's just grown but something about their energy is going to really impress you, okay? Something's shifted here. But let's get some clarifications before I go off too much on my own <laughs> intuition. Um, let's see what the Six of Cups is about. Very beautiful energy. I love the Six of Cups. Ooh. Damn, okay. Hmm. So all of these queen energies in this vibration. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I kind of get this energy of these kind of being like your person's kind of been through their own journey, like I kept saying, when it comes to love and relationships. And I kind of get that it hasn't always been the easiest for them. I feel like a lot of people have come towards them and possibly took them for granted the way that they possibly took you for granted. But once again, it's like the universe bringing this person to awareness of the potential of this connection. Um, I also get the energy that this person's been waiting, possibly even just watching you from a distance waiting for the right time to strike and come back in towards you and ask for this reconciliation. I can't escape this energy of third parties though. I don't know if these three queens are an indication of the past relationships that this person's kind of had to go through in order to come to their recognition of who the right person is for them. Hmm. Interesting. I'm actually going to clarify that a little bit more. It's like it's almost i don't want to say this person's options but it's like all this it's like this person's been thinking about their past um they've been thinking about all the people they've manifested some of the connections that went better than others and instead of allowing um energies to stay stuck and create resentment i feel like this person just gained knowledge and maturity from these past relationships hmm of pentacles i keep getting all these indications of third party so i do think that's just the universe kind of clarifying what i'm picking up on here it's like this person had to experience other relationships in order to pick up on who the right person is for them and when they think back on who that is for whatever reason taurus they're coming back towards you this is someone who before just didn't have the capacity to collaborate with you but in the maturity through their own journey that's exactly what they've decided okay Ooh. Let's clarify the eight of wands very clear communication is what i'm picking up on here someone who has I don't want to say they've written down literally what they want to say to you, but it's like it's very, very clear. This person's not going to stumble over any of their words. 
or sometimes the eight of wands could be electronic communication um they could kind of test the waters by you know sending you a message via the same kind of way you guys used to communicate we have the world at the bottom of the deck yeah so they're going to test the waters possibly with the internet um an email a whatsapp a dm whatever it is that you guys communicate with um and if you feel open energetically i see this person coming in and communicating something about obviously they're not going to come in and like hey let's get married that's that's insane but i feel like this person's going to come in and want to like have a cup of coffee with you and express something to you about the potential of going in that direction or at the very least committing to one another in a more serious way than before let's see Ooh, wow guys yeah so someone's been in a lot of deep contemplation about you thinking about you not just from the head space but definitely from the heart space there's that sweet energy i was feeling just now taurus and the page of cups oh this person has such a beautiful energy i think you're gonna be surprised okay because it's like they are coming in not as the same person that they used to be if this person was a little bit cold before detached um non-emotional very immature that's what they've kind of let go of with the death and rebirth um i also get that the rebirth is indication of once again someone from the past but this person it's like they're sorry for fumbling this connection with the page of cups um when they think back on this connection it's like they feel like a little bit of an idiot okay Let's see what this uh, ace of pentacles is about very serious energies in that just as i say very serious energies and then we get the queen of swords so i actually feel like this is their energy whether they're male or female i'm not sure why this person's carrying such a feminine sweet vibration right now um not one king energy came out the emperor didn't come out um we had three queens come out and then the six of cups very feminine to me as well as an energy very beautiful but also very feminine um so i don't know what that's about even if this is a a male um they are carrying a very gentle energy at the moment um but either way we've got two aces here that's what they've been thinking so deeply about how to manifest um a brand new start with you also something about the aces is new so i feel like the way that they're coming towards you is going to be so new i feel like the way that they're coming towards you is gonna surprise you somehow i don't know or maybe because you haven't heard from them in so long that's what's surprising like damn this person still thinks about me <laughs> but yeah they, they they still think about you okay you left quite the impression here um taurus i'll give you that much <laughs> i think that's that's about it right should we one more shuffle how about that So they're coming in to commit <laughs> very powerful commitment energies i think this person feels like they're ready to commit now maybe financially they just had to kind of create more stability for themselves before they could come in um i don't know i'm just feeling like someone who's ready to do the work and when they think about who to do the work with uh they think about you okay so i don't want to keep repeating myself here i think you got the message expect an x not one of those x's that you're expecting because <laughs> i actually think you possibly could be expecting someone who you just recently dated but something about this energy feels like older um like they had to like it's been a while since you spoke because this person's been going through a couple of things a couple of other relationships i don't know anyway that's your reading guys love and light